little bit closer. There you go, perfect. Story of a man's life, huh? <laughs> I don't know, you know. I come close to walking together. <laughs> Take your glasses off. You gonna take your glasses off? Okay. I work all at night all the time. This sun. I hear you. Okay. It's up to you. Just wanted to remind you in case you forgot. It would look better. Friends, we are gathered today to witness and to celebrate the drawing together of two separate lives. We have come so that this man, Danny Tucker, and this woman, Ashley Brewer, may be joined in marriage. It is not to be entered into lightly, but with assurance and mutual respect. The shining light of human emotion reduces our selfishness fulfills our need to share, and reinforces our virtues. Sing and dance together, joyous, but let each of you be alone, even as the of a lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music, and stand together, yet not too near together, for the pillars of the temple stand apart and the oak tree and the cypress tree grow not in each other's shadow. Out of chaos, let us pledge our unity, never losing sight of the individual, individuality that has spawned and rejuvenated this love. Today's celebration of human affection is the outward sign of commitment, which religion may consecrate and society may formalize, but neither of which guarantees happiness. For in this fold must exist two minds, full of loving purpose, willing to grow and not recede in the face of change. Beneath 
but the, the benevolent spirit of affection and sharing. These two people stand before us. Will you now hold right hands? <laughs> Do you, Danny, take Ashley to be your wife for all of your days, to love and to cherish, to honor and to comfort, in sorrow or in joy, in hardship or in ease, to have and to hold from this day forth? And Ashley, do you take Danny to be the husband of your days, to love and to cherish, to honor and to comfort, in sorrow and in joy, in hardship or in ease, to have and to hold from this Do you have rings? Danny, please present your ring to Ashley and say to her these words. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. As of the moon. Ashley, you may now slide your ring onto Danny's finger and say these same words. With this ring, <laughs> I thee wed. Ashley and Danny, today you join your separate lives together. But this marriage is about more than just the two of you. It's about the importance that your children, Logan, Kaylee, Megan, Danielle, and Aiden, have in this newly created family and the significant role that they play. These vessels of sand symbolize your separate lives, separate families, and separate sets of friends. They represent all that you have been as individuals. They also represent your lives before today. As these vessels of sand are poured into the common vessel, the individual vessels of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into their individual vessels, so will your marriage be. You may now combine your sands. May this couple, just married, draw strength from their agreement, understanding, even in moments of despair, the virtues found in each other. Solace under fire, encouragement when life is a trial, sharing one another's joys and pains, welcoming life's mysteries through the optimism found in their love, growing wise instead of old, accepting the unwanted stranger that no one knows, sharing today's inspiration beyond the present. May this union only add to the goodness and the joys of your lives. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Congratulations, you may kiss your bride. Yeah. Friends and family, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tucker. <laughs>
Girl? Girl? You can come and get Aiden. Aiden! Aiden! Go with the girls. No, I'm telling him to go. It's okay. Okay, then it's the girls. Okay, here's him Logan. Yeah? You can go too. Shaking and singing, how do you do? 